And now to that hit and run that was captured by surveillance cameras in Missouri City. This video is providing vital clues and hopefully leading police to that driver. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Bill Baessa. And I'm Dominique Soxa. 43-year-old Joe Luna is still in the hospital more than a week after that accident. Our Brandon Walker spoke with family members desperate to track down this driver. Brandon? Yeah, Dominique, Luna had to undergo emergency surgery to relieve a swelling brain. He's got a broken leg, other bumps and bruises. And get this, he was on his bicycle that night last week to get to the bank, his family tells me, so that he can make his bills and pay his bills on time. You know, it's traumatizing. Surveillance video of a hit and run. He's, he wants this person caught. Moments during and after a truck plowed into Francisco Tapia's brother, leaving him on the street. He doesn't remember nothing at all. Tonight, 43-year-old Joe Luna is in the hospital. It's been 10 days since he was hit. 10 long days, says his family. He has a lot of staples. Um, they took half the skull uh, off to uh, make sure that the brain didn't overswell uh, down word because uh, if it did, he would die. Missouri City Police say the truck hit Luna here on Court Road near where it meets Texas Parkway on January 17th. Surveillance video shows the collision, but it also shows when the truck stopped for a spell at least. The man did get out of the car and look at him and get back in the truck and, and leave. Missouri City Police shared the video. Also these pictures showing the white Ford F-150 that hit Luna. I wish that uh, I wish that it would never have happened to him. Joe Luna is recovering, though it will be a long one. His family there with him along the way. He's a strong person, so I mean, uh, I just I'm waiting for him to come home. And the family telling me that if they last saw Luna today, they go to the hospital every day. He's undergoing therapy to learn how to walk, and he's having some issues with his memory, keeping up with that therapy, they tell us. Meantime, if you recognize that truck or you have any information that could lead to identifying the driver, you're asked to give Missouri police a phone call. That number on our website tonight, click to Houston.com. We're live in Missouri City. I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC Channel 2 News.